Hi guys and welcome back to Economics and Comics. This will be the completion of the 1 through 66 X-Men sign collection. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy and I'll do more uh, in the days to come for the rest, but it's going to be a while. But I wanted to get this first 66 out of the way because they're pretty much the most important books except for a couple uh, later on, which you'll get to see. Uh, so this is number 51, signed by Stranko. Um, First appearance of the red, uh, was it Eric, Enoch, I can't remember. And it's in uh, seven, around 7 7.0 condition. Next we have number 52, signed by Joe Sinat, 7.0, classic cover, great signature. Number 53, that I used to have one, it was signed by Barry Windsor, I believe, but this one, I don't know what happened to it, I had to get it signed by Stan Lee because I couldn't find my Windsor one. This is a 6.0 Blastar of Death. Moving on to number 54. This is signed by John Romita, uh, First Prince of Living Planet, about 7.0 condition. I love where they sign these books, it's, it's so awesome. Next we have number 55. This is signed by Roy Thomas in about 7.5 condition. Now, this one's number uh, 56, classic Neil Adams cover. It's signed by both Neil Adams and Roy Thomas. It's uh, First Living Monolith. And it's in uh, about a VF condition, 8.0. What is the power? Here's number 57. It's also signed by Neil Adams and Roy Thomas in Sentinel's appearance. And it's in fine condition, 6.0. The Sentinels live. Okay, so before we get to 59, I have a graded copy of 59. Wait, excuse me, a 58. Signed by Stan Lee, 5.5. First appearance of Havoc in costume. Signed by Stan Lee. Let's get this one out of the way. Okay, this one's super special. So this is number 59. Um, classic Sentinels cover. Um, but it's signed by Chris Claremont, Roy Thomas, and Neil Adams. Uh, Chris Claremont's first X-Men book. He wrote so many of them, but this is one of his earliest. I remember getting it signed by him, and he's like... I don't remember doing that. Oh, yeah, I do. I do remember. So that's the first time. So I, I made sure almost every book that's done by Chris Claremont in the collection that I have is signed. There's like hundreds. So I remember he told me, thanks for paying my kid's college fund. I'm like, no problem. Thanks for hooking me up. Oh, by the way, that book's in uh, about fine condition, 6.0. So number 60. This one's in a, a 5. I think it's either 5.5 or 5 condition. I think it's more of a 5. Um, this one's signed by Roy Thomas and Neil Adams. First appearance of Sauron. Let's 
number 61. This is an, uh, signed by Neil Adams. Or no, excuse me. Yeah, Neil Adams and Roy Thomas. Uh, this one's in a lower grade, 3.5 condition. Saron, parents. It could be a four. I, I'm really tough on my grades, to be honest. Uh, that's a good thing, though, when people ask me the grade and then they send it in and they get a better grade, then they're very happy. So, uh, Number 62 is also in like a 3.5 condition. It's uh, signed by Neil Adams and Roy Thomas. And the, the uh, I can't remember what that parents is. The Kazar is in it though, for sure. Uh, number 63. So, number 63 is signed by Neil Adams and Roy Thomas again. And it's in a 7.0 condition. Magneto cover. Number 64 is signed by Roy Thomas and it's in fine condition. And I think it's the first appearance of Sunfire. Number 65 is signed by Neil Adams and it's a 7.5 condition and it's Havoc Joins and they reveal that Professor X is still alive. And for the last book, I had it CGC graded because it's the last X-Men book, uh, signed by Stan Lee, and it's a Hulk appearance, and I'll leave it in the case there, but uh, last new story with the original X-Men. So this is the completion of 1 through 66 original Grail Key, well, I call them Grails, but Key Books. So we'll just go ahead and do a final look at these ones. Only a couple are like lower grade. <laughs> it's amazing. Most of them are mid to high. Well, low, high, and mid, mid plus, I don't know. But you can tell they're all in extremely good condition and they've been secured in these bags and mylars and they were careful where they put their signatures and I love it. Um, I love this collection. But thanks for watching. Um, we'll get more next time, okay? Have a good one.